Before you begin the installation, you will need to completely empty everything out of the 6 gallon canopy, leaving only the shell behind. Using a pair of wire cutters or a similar cutting tool, remove the tall standoff in the center of the canopy as close to the inside as possible. Measure out one and a quarter inches between the two fan vents on the top of the canopy with a permanent marker. Place the mark just below the center line of the fans. This will ensure that when the power switch is installed here, it lays completely flat on the top of the canopy. Use a three quarter inch drill bit to drill through the top of the canopy on the marking that you made previously. Okay. Insert the hole plug that was included in your parts kit into the hole on the top of the canopy that the original power switch was installed into. Although not mandatory, we choose to run a bead of hot glue around the outside of the hole plug just to keep it firmly in place. Next, insert the round rocker switch included in your parts kit through the hole that was drilled through the top of the canopy. We also chose to run a bead of hot glue around the power switch as well. This is not necessary. Install the first 50mm fan into the canopy with the label face up. Due to the lower profile fans, we recommend trimming off 1 16th to 1 8 inch off of each of the fan screws, otherwise you may run the risk of punching the fan screws through the top of the canopy. Install the second fan also with the label facing up and trim the fan installation screws as necessary. Install the pre-assembled heat shield subassembly into the canopy. Be sure to match up the hole in the bottom left hand corner and the hole in the right hand side just above the Workhorse 22 ballast with the standoffs that are already in the hood. Using a Phillips head screwdriver and two of the screws that were originally holding the stock reflector in place, fasten the heat shield subassembly into place. Using a pair of wire strippers, remove approximately one half inch of insulation from the white wire on the ballast. Then strip approximately one half inch of insulation from the white wire on the power switch. Twist the two white wires together, then take one closed end connector and slide it over the end of the connection. Then with a pair of wire crimpers, securely fasten the closed end connector into place. Using a file or dremel tool, carefully expand the hole in the back of the canopy large enough to fit the closed end connector that was included in your parts kit. Be sure not to expand the hole too much, otherwise the strain relief will fit loosely and will not hold the power cord securely in place.
With a pair of scissors, carefully cut through the outer shielding on the power cord. Remove approximately 6 inches of insulation. With a pair of pliers, squeeze the strainer relief into place, then feed the power cord wires through the hole in the back of the canopy. Give the power cord a gentle tug to make sure that it's securely in place. 